The idea behind the whistling is that, is that again, it's about being a certain, it's to a certain degree transparent. Before, changes were made in the museum behind closed doors. So basically, we said you can't come into the rooms, you can't see the rooms, you can't see the museum at work. Uh, of course, during a, a period of change, you're going to confront empty rooms because we're changing the works from one, one thing to another. So rather like when you're moving house, when you, before you've arrived in the house, you have an empty house and then you put your furniture in. In the same sense, we have, we have empty rooms. I'm not sure that empty rooms in themselves are not uninteresting. There's a whole tradition in art of showing empty rooms. And the Pompidou Centre in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Paris had a couple of years ago an exhibition which was only empty rooms. Um, so I think it's quite interesting to see the architecture empty, particularly if you come back regularly, and also to see people at work in the, in, in the architecture, actually realising that it's a workplace and not only a place where everything is, 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 um, is organised and, and, and constructed, um, uh, sort of nicely done so that you can't see any of the tricks behind. Um, the museum is a place where we work, where we produce things. Um, I think that's quite interesting to share. But I think the main reason behind the, vis the whistling is it gives an opportunity for you to go behind the scenes. And the, the main experience of the whistling, I think, is again a conversation with some of the people that we have working here through the different guided tours that we have. So what I would encourage people to do um, is, is to come to the museum and try and um, join one of the guided tours and then to have a look at parts of the museum which you would never see otherwise. Because I think that gives you again a different idea of the, of the life of the institution. And opening up the life of the institution also gives you another access to the art and gives you another way of thinking about the art.